And we're at it again, guys. We now have game two of this best of three between Hey United and the Vegas Squadron in the Mountain Trail Challenge. This is the loser bracket round two. Loser of this match will he will be eliminated out of our tournament and won't be able to take home either 3,000 euros, 1,500 euros, or 500 euros. So, hey, hey, they need to play with everything because they want to win this. They want to stay here. And with me again, of course, is the maker from Rasmus TV Man. So happy to be here. Wow. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep saying it in the draft. Wow, that game number one. Yeah. Damn. Damn. So close. So crazy. Mooshard. Crazy. crazy. Mooshard. I think Mooshard. And it was, cons it wasn't even, you know, it wasn't bought and put in the inventory. It was consumed immediately to free up space. Oh, it was a good game. Good game. Unfortunate for Vega. Some last minute, you know, issues. I think in the, uh, you know, he fo he focused the tiny. Uh, or oh, sorry, the tiny focus, the gyro, yeah. and uh, a lot of things were... I think he was stressed. I think he was like, I need to kill the tiny, or the, the tiny needs to kill the gyro. I need to kill the gyro fast, um, because I'm the only physical only damage we have. So, yeah. So, yeah, in the end, they lose game number one, but hopefully game number two, they can bounce back and we can have ourselves a third game, which is hopefully going to be just as interesting as game number one. We'll see. So far, we have a new pickup, though. We have the Shadow Fiend. He got through to the uh, end phase. Oh, so that's going to be uh, no one playing that one. And we already have, again, have the Earthshaker. Yes, yeah, it's, it's again the Earthshaker, yeah. This is something I like to pick up. I'm, honestly, I don't think I've actually guessed a match where, hey, I didn't pick up the Earthshaker. I think it's... Yeah, it's 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 a first it's a first pickup, to be sure, for a support hero. Just... It's yeah. just so versatile. Yeah, it's it's. There's can nothing you can always counter it, of course, but it's just I'll just solve the pick. Uh, I mean, the same with the shadow fiend. You can still. Yeah. How do you counter nerd shaker? I don't. A lot of AOE silence, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but, I think disruptor was good in the last game. Yeah. You know. But I, was, I think some of the static storm were a little bit off the mark. Probably, I I would agree with you. There was a few solo static storms onto Wind Ranger and Lena, that I don't necessarily agree with. But the fact that they had a Static Storm at the ready pretty much every fight just allowed them to... You know, Earthshaker couldn't go in and, and do the 5-man Echo into 5-man Fisher and then, you know, let the let the Tiny um, do his... Up. Yeah. Um, so I think in that sense, you can always, you know, glimpse him back, you know, just... Oh, just get out of the fight. You know, we don't need you here. It's gonna be a Clockwork. That's a really quick pickup in the, uh, in the first phase here. For Vega Squadron. Wow. And they pick it up into a Disruptor. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the thing that, like, dazzled me. Like. There's usually nobody you go and pick up versus a Disruptor. Like, if you hookshot it now, you just get sent back and they just disengage and you don't have an hookshot anymore. Yeah. Until, like, 30 minutes or so when you have negatives. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, I'm kind of surprised by the clockwork being picked up as, as fast as it did. Yeah, it's... Well, but we... it's Vega, so I guess, I guess they'll pull it off somehow. <laughs> Yeah, they. Five it's it's just a strong hero as well, but that's still yeah, it's disruptor. Yeah, I know. Reserve it's and with his currently current um, team fight force, it's looking hmm. scary, uh, especially for Shadowfin and Clockwork because if he hooks in, um, now. you know, and it's kind of yeah, he can get blown up very easily. So it's it's a it's a it's a scary prospect for the Clockwork, but. No Leshrac this game. We have a, we have yet to see a Leshrac being picked up in either of these games, which I kind of want to say is a is a nice break from the never-ending first pick up Lesh on either team. So you know that's that's kind of good. Yeah, it's kind of getting bad a lot more. Yeah. Or was it with Mars leak or was it Mars leak or with what is it the the GD MLG major, MLG yeah. yeah. The, or was it sixty percent win rate or something on that hero and he was picked up nearly every game so. I think he's gonna get really nerfed soon. Uh, yeah, I think his maybe his movement speed or his lightning storm is gonna get nerfed. Yeah, either way, um, it's not gonna be both of them, but one of them is gonna get changed. Yeah. Uh, or the cooldown or something like that. It just seems too good. Like maybe he he can't get shut down. He flash farms as fast as a shadow fiend. Um, and because of his lightning storm, he can actually chase down people in the early game, where shadow fiend only has you know the races if. If people initiate on him. So I think it's, it's a really strong mid laner. Done on Beetle. 
but it's it's really strong. The problem is, he said he's just a flash form, and he can just get back in the game so fast. Yeah. And honestly, if you have a Shadow Fiend, if that's the hero that you want to go pick up, you kind of don't want to play first a Lash Wreck. No. It will blow you up free BKB pretty hard. Radiant yeah. team pick. Gonna be a Lina for her. They kind of seem to enjoy the Urshik and Lina um, support duo. Yeah, so, we, well, as, it was really successful. Not, yeah. But it's probably gonna it's probably not gonna be the same support duo as we do have a disruptor on the side of her. Probably gonna be a Lena mid, I think. Think. Versus the Shadow Fiend. They might. Um you I never think it's know. one of the better matchups. It's an okay matchup, yeah. But you're never sure. You're just yeah. never sure. I think if Urshik rotates into the mid, it helps out the Lena a bit. They can set up some pretty easy kills once she gets level six, maybe even five before that. Because she, maybe even level one, yeah, if you just block her off, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they get the phoenix as well. Okay, Radiant they're really going into, heavy. yeah, they're just going into the heroes that they like. It's all really fight and early game oriented heroes, they just want to go at you and try to kill you. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they pick up a spear breaker as well, yeah. So, core spear breaker and then phoenix offlane, Lena mid, and then. Yeah, or shake your uh, disruptor roaming with the with the TP always a spear breaker, so we can just go back to the lane to form again. It's wow. What do you think about the Ursa pickup right now? I like it. It's really good to dodge uh, all the magical damage. You just you know use your armor rage once the Laguna blades. Uh, mm. Yeah, Laguna starts coming towards you, and you're fine. You're I'll, fine. Yeah, you're fine, man. And with the dazzle there as well. Only problem is is the the synergy between the clockwork and Ursa can be a little bit well, difficult. Weird, yeah. Okay, like the clocks can help you out as in they keep somebody on your side. Yes. Or it keeps the entire team away from you and then with as an Ursa you either have to blink over your own cocks and be isolated alone. Or you have to wait for the cocks to end and let Hey Hey regroup. So Yes. It can be a little bit debauched. We'll have to see that. It goes for as Dazzle, I think, was a really smart pickup in conjunction with the Ursa. I'm not sure about the Ursa, though, but the Dazzle was a good pickup and uh, can disrupt the you know the momentum from him if he gets off some good shallow graves, especially with the Phoenix and and Lena and the Frey. So, yeah, it's it's a good pickup and with the Clockwork also really nicely. So gonna have to see what they can pick up here as the last hero. Probably gonna be a physical damaging core of some sort, could be as you said, the Spirit Breaker just to take control of the early and mid game. I'm kind of I'm kind of concerned for the late game potential if they go a spear breaker, but I'm not completely sure. I I, I just see them pick it up. It's yeah, like, because it's, if it's they still want to have something for late game, they should probably pick up something. Yeah, but yeah, what they're gonna go do then? Like an anti mage PL Dude, PL's banned. They PL's go. banned. I'll shut up. Um, <laughs> close, but yeah, <laughs> close enough. Yeah, yeah I, that was also the first thing, but I was. I always look through the <laughs> through the ban list. Rufus. Yeah, always through the ban list. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's, you know, it's Maybe a tinker as you saw. Oh wow. Yeah, this is what I said before. HWA tinker. Yeah. It's one of yeah, somebody saying heroes. axe in the uh, in the chat. I was I was kind of leaning to that as well because I say, hey, Dazzle doesn't like axe. Ursa, he can get kited around by axe a lot if he gets a good call off. And Shadowfiend not really good with the up close and personal heroes. I guess Clockwork and axe is not the you know you don't want to go down that lane so and there's a lot of things with clockwork that x doesn't like the cox in there the hook shot and he's a really tanky hero but it's gonna be a rubik for vega squadron yeah i was actually looking at why would they pick up a thinker to be quite honest because first is a clockwork yeah exactly it's not the nicest pickup there and even an ursa if he has a blink he can blink on top of you hmm with a shadow you could go for a jewels build into a blink yeah. and blow so, you up yeah exactly so there's a few, a few things about the tinker i'm not too you know, yeah, sure, uh, happy yeah. about, yeah. but it could work out because if HWA gets the farm he needs, he can, he can, tr he can just control the Ursa forever or the Shadowfiend, depending on who, you know, gets to be the bigger problem. Um, but there's still a lot, a lot of things he has to worry about. I'm not sure about the Rubik pickup here to, at the end. Um, or maybe he liked to was Witch Doctor. In no, the pool. it's Blink into Lift is instant. That is true. Yeah, and I'm just you curious still, yeah. about you know, there's a lot of things that can. If he walks or blinks into a disruptor, all to Urshiker Fisher could hit him. There's a lot of things that he. Oh, there we go. Last hits. <laughs> Bit of drawing going on. Please keep it. Who's drawing this? It's the Kuna. That is you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, I think that's pretty beautiful. I mean... Oh, guys, it's a mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse. It's a mouse of a computer. Yeah, exactly, can you see that? <laughs> Man, we're gonna lose our... Uh... Your, your credibility is gonna yeah. get destroyed. You should never let me on the show. I just I just destroy everything. I'm just gonna start drawing this shit when we're casting with uh, Rasmus. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> all the do. time. Oh, stop it. <laughs> when, you would, when you would oh. Edward, like, all the time. <laughs> Yo, me and Edward, we're out of control. Oh. I'm, I'm surprised, though, that Reddit hasn't, you know, reported us yet. Like, get the stream down. There's... there's <laughs> <laughs> have the Too hitbox content. <laughs> have the hitbox admins going after us. Guys, stop it! Stop yeah. it! <laughs> you you can't keep saying st stuff like that. No, don't do that, guys. Come on. Yeah. I think we actually have to have like a plus eighteen or whatever on the stream because yeah, only we say a them. lot of awful stuff on the stream. <laughs> oh my god. We don't offend people, but we, you know, it's kind of yeah. <laughs> it's we're borderline. quite frank on <laughs> <Yeah>. Rasmus TV. <laughs> and we're going into... Good answer, Kuhn. I'm thinking the exact same. Zucha. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> what they saying? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, that, that's why I'm asking uh, Igor. He's a Russian guester from uh, D2Net. Yeah, <laughs> Go dancing. <laughs> bad, boys. bad boys, bad boys. Oh my what god. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna... <laughs> I actually started singing Elton John on the stream the other day, and uh, people actually enjoyed that quite a lot. Okay. Uh, they, they wanted more music and less casting. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we're that bad at our jobs. So. Uh, uh, I had that before as well. Like, no, no, don't stop the pause. Let the music play. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Let's just shut up. <laughs> Put your hands up. <laughs> That's the co caster of the Russian. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, Asia, yeah, he ran away. Well, let's just go real fast through the, uh, through the teams before we do that shit up again. For Hey Hey, we have HWA on the signature tinker. We have Hook playing the Lina. We have Quepe playing the Earthshaker. We have Microsoft playing the Disruptor. And we have the Coon playing the Phoenix. Yes, and on the side of Vega, it is going to be no one, of course, on his signature Shadow Fiend. It's going to be Mac on the clock. Seema the Slayer going to be playing up that Dazzle. Vanscore as the Rubik and Pasha on the Ursa carriers. They're probably going to be running a roaming Rubik and then Dazzle on the bottom lane with the Pasha. A Shadow Fiend mid on a clockwork off lane. Well, we're just waiting for, I think, was it? They're right. HWA, HWA, HWA. Yeah, HWA. Um... I'm, I'm seeing if somebody wants to sing after the match. Or have them sing with you. Oh, sure. My <laughs> skills as a singer are not to be trifled with in any way. <laughs> oh my god. Horrible. Horrible. Okay. Horrible. Horrible. Okay, they're all ready right now. Okay, we're gonna go into the game. <laughs> Edward, so he would kill himself if he heard me sing another song. So, you know, really? I immediately started singing Lion King soundtrack <laughs> because, you know, he needs to, he needs to shut up. <laughs> he needs to watch more Lion King. Yeah, he does. Exactly, he does. I told him he didn't. No, he didn't want to listen. I kind of. I watched a lot of those Disney uh, movies. Yeah, Disney. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I Disney get, soundtrack gotta be the best in the world. But... No, I, not the soundtracks. I don't really like. You don't like no? the songs? Oh my god, the songs is like so, half of the. Disney it, it depends on the things, like from Frozen and stuff like that. No, no I was forced like to watch that. Disney, oh yeah, Lion like, King, uh, yeah. Aristocats, and uh, Lion King. And, oh my. They're at it again! Seema! <laughs> he will be fissured again! <laughs> he will be killed off. <laughs> it's, it's, wow! Shadow Grave, but, but yeah, he's... Yeah, he's gonna take a drop here. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and pretty that's much... gonna be coming to uh, HWA. He's gonna be really pleased about that. Wow. <laughs> that's gonna be a so much pretty fast ball away. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh Quepe! Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Shield fired! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there we go. Let's start to the game. <laughs> oh, it's all fine. <laughs> and let's see, is Mac able to contest this? Well, he, he's probably not. Time to get yeah, this is. Uh, here we go. It's all just gonna. He's gonna settle into the lanes right now. They're gonna start off with a nice uh, dual lanes here on the side of Hay again. They like to yeah. do this. And it seems to be like 
really solid as well. Um, you get some decent farm on, on everybody, uh, like not not only the cores but your supports as well. So. Yeah, and if you don't have like this jungle heavy uh, heroes, then you kind of are able to do it, especially yeah. with AWA on the safe lane. That's, I think it, they will try to leave him alone as much as possible and have mind control stack the jungle still, but. So far, yeah, what, what, what build do you think is going to be uh, oh, going the, for? The Marsh build or the rocket into... Honestly, I, I hope he's going to get like rocket. rockets and lasers. Just yeah. because it's fun. Yeah, yeah, and we get to see more kills. Yeah, but realistically speaking, it's kind of, I think he will hold it to skill points. And see how the lane goes. If the lane goes well, he will probably skip out a little bit of March. And if the lane doesn't go too well and needs to catch up a little bit... We we'll just we'll go put for the more marsh. points, yeah, and just farm yeah. the jungle. Yeah, they actually already have weapon near the jungle. I think he already stacked. I think he he went back to base. He was blocking off the bottom lane here. As Kuhn is going to be uh, there, he's going to be he bl he blocked off the initial uh, the initial creep wave with his Fisher and just went back to base, um, just to man up again. Yeah, basic. Uh, yeah, or shaker place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was so... he's just being oh. annoying, you know. Ooh. There's gonna be the Fissure, but uh, Hook, is he ready for this? He's kind of still kind of far down. out, he's gonna yeah. miss. Yeah. yeah, he's kind of... He wasn't sure if he should go on that end. That's gonna be the first clarity pops. Yeah. Or maybe a second, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how many he bought. He bought two. Only two? So no. that's the first one. Well, he has BOT, so he was able to buy three. Yeah. I don't know if he used another one. So. Eh, that's doesn't matter. Gonna Even be a really good start though for for uh, if they can if they can Still keep it going and get the farm on Tinker I think they should be okay but I'm still kind of sketchy because they don't have that much visual damage. Fissures there, but LSA is used on the creep. They just want to use the uh, spells to get the regen rune here. Yeah. Now Hook, he has enough mana for the top. They might gonna look to get a kill on Mac. He's already level three though, so he's getting what he wants. Yeah, he's back he's in getting, time. Yeah, he's getting back, back off QP with a level one Fisher. Be running around as. I just all settling back, taking it easy. They just want to kill Mac. <laughs> yeah, they really want to kill the uh, the clockwork here. He's playing this really well. It's Grappa is just really unsure about going. He's even pinging out, thinking that there's a ward there. But... Nope, that one is in middle. Yes. And he's gonna be spotted out again. And even if he gets a good fissure off, there's still a uh, Sima there in the back line with the shallow grave. He's gonna stand oh, there again. The, look at the mid lane. There we Ooh, go. Yeah, stun yeah. comes out. Double stun. Well, Dragon no Slave. gonna take a drop. Here we go. Oh, Shallow Grave in this... the last second. Well, we talked about that. He's not gonna man. go for it. He's not gonna go for it. Yeah. Nice. Uh... Try to get a snipe off if he can. Or even get Seema maybe. No, he's just poking a bit here. So. No, you have to annoy the supports. Hmm. Oh, no one. He's uh, just gonna bottle up a little bit. Bottle Crow. Maybe get a little bit of heal here. Because look at this. <laughs> Quepe, he's ready. He wants to see him. He wants to kill him off with you. Yeah. That's gonna work. And... Thanks, thanks. Valve. What? What? I, I'm not sure. What happened? <laughs> he just said thanks, Valve. What? A bit of bantering going on in the game as uh, Kuhn yeah. is he's calling out Gabe on his... Uh, Today. Push. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I was, I was kinda like, what is what is gonna happen? But like, yeah, it's so gonna of be a disconnect, team. of course. But this is uh, the other side, so kind of, how does he know that? Yeah, that's that's pretty. Wow, the coon. He's like a magician, man. He just knows what's gonna happen. Oh no, there's could more. be DDoSing the side of uh. No. No. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Back, bad yeah. major. Back, shoot. <laughs> hey, no. there we go. Reconnect immediately. That's good. okay. Good. It's just every time it's somebody else. Well, okay. Yeah. Twice it has been fan score. Then there's been HWA and. Uh, at least it's not just one person. Yeah. How is your ping? Let me see here. Oh, there we go. Even the... Uh... 33 MS. Okay, that should be fine. And zero packet loss. So it should be okay. We are ready if you are. Okay. I'm wondering why I didn't say good luck have fun after it. <laughs> well, some <laughs> the relic coming out here for the side of uh, Vega. <laughs> And I'm I'm baffled. Uh, I have yet to to understand Russian. Well, here we go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. QP's 
being QP. Like this, we don't, okay? <laughs> I'll, I will just have my Russian guesser to do all, you know, yeah, translating we'll it. <laughs> you can join the cast for translating purposes. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's wow, what we have to no do. Ooh, LSA is still really yeah, nice. Dragon Slave, though. A little bit of smart. Push you fucking car. <laughs> okay! <laughs> so there we go. Glimpse onto Mag, and he might just be uh, the second blood here as while well, the cog's doing work onto HWA. Can he TP out in time? He's gonna salve up. It should be okay. He does yeah. have a glimpse, and yeah, Mag gonna be just fine. Is this gonna survive here, Rent? Uh, somebody is uh, having sex in the car here. At least that's what Igor is saying is the uh, translation, so... Yeah, I don't think we can trust Igor. He's, uh... He's Igor. Yeah, he's exactly. <laughs> he's Igor. You, you can't trust him. Uh, it should be fine. It's nothing bad happened. No, well, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. It's yeah. all good fun, so it's good. Now, Lina. Yeah, at least it's a bottle. He just using herself. Get up his health. I'm going middle, still he's a little bit behind the uh, the shadow fiend. Yeah, yeah, seven last hits, it's or six now, it's it's to be expected. Now he's alone, <laughs> so he might be able to get a little bit more back, but Yeah. And well here we go. No one just showing yeah. himself. He's playing really defensively. He knows that if the Earth Shaker pops in and the Lagoon Blade hits, he's he's most likely gonna die, even with the Dazzle needs to be on point with the uh with the shallow graves. And he's gonna rotate into the jungle. Probably a stack waiting for him. Yeah, there is. Yeah, so in the meantime, Sima is just able to take a little bit of XP a mid. Even yes. a less hit here as well, the first one for him. He's happy. And Rush. Yeah. This is the Ursa man. Pasha. Let's just wait for Enrage to be turned on and then you see just Rush yeah, melt. Gonna... Mm. Yeah, he's gonna melt that Rush. He's gonna actually... Oh, wow. oh, oh whoa, whoa, oh, 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 no! The Bash! <laughs> Oh my god, the Iron Jesus! <laughs> Thanks, Valve! Thanks, Valve! <laughs> oh, shit. That's so funny. Oh my god. Kill. That, that's Rush Bash, man. MVP what? here. <laughs> that is broken. Yo, we need to call Gabe and... and he needs to fix this. Yeah. <laughs> that was really, really funny, though. Well, there are, he knows this is happening now. <laughs> yeah. So. They're rotating that's a good thing, people. but he died off to... Ro or sorry, I, I want to say Ursa, but Roche actually was the... What was the uh... instigator there? <laughs> yeah. Vizier is out. End score. He's gonna get hit by it, but he's still just walking circles. And yeah, they're just looking across the, the river and just splitting up now. Yeah. I'm gonna go back into the uh, into the lanes. Nova, how's the uh, boost going for HWA? Yeah, he's pretty close. He's getting close and closer. He's all mid lane. Gonna be a uh, hook. Going okay. in onto no one. No one should be okay. Yeah, yeah he should be fine. That's the bottle. The golden blade was used. He still survived. Put a nice shadow grave there again. Well, clockwork. Well, he says yeah, that uh, Tinker. Exactly. They need to. They need to keep uh, keep a tabs on Tinker. And he's even level five and actually gets to kill on Tinker. That's quite. Yeah, he was walking in to. Uh, he just walked into range and just cocked him, killed him. With a battery then. Yeah. Exactly. Um, easy peasy. Easiest kill of his life as. As we're just starting to go back into a little bit more of a farming oriented thing, and well, Pasha actually, the egg was robbed here and bot. And Dragon Slave, oh, just off the mark, and they're gonna try and go for fence score now. And there you go, they should be able to get him. Quepe uh, just gets the last poke off with his little cow feet and roll back to it. SWA is gonna need support here, and they know it. They sent in my control already. If having a hook shot now available for, uh, for Mac here, it's. It's gonna be a little bit more dangerous. Yeah. Well, he's taking a lot of damage from the Tinker, but as you said, with that hookshot being available. Yeah, if he just goes back to the base, heals up, he can just go into him and kill him. And that's why they need my control here, just to, you know, instantly glimpse him back. What do you think? How many smokes do they have left? The On side the side of, of Vega. Yeah, yeah, two. He could try rush again. Yeah, and even bait out the uh, the Phoenix again to die to Roche would have been probably a strategy. I think the side of Vega has pondered over a few many times. No one rotating onto the top. Mag with the haste rune as well. They're already in the towers. Oh, the tower. It's going to be HWA as well as uh, mind control. They don't find a target. He's going to go into the jungle to see if he can pick up any anything else. And At least no one. TP back. Yeah. yeah. At least no one. He got the uh, the double uh, stack of the Ace. of the oh, Ace. I mean the easy no. cap. Yeah, bottom they're fighting, as you as well. Oh, wreck him. It only hits the Coon. And the Coon, he doesn't have Incarus dive. He's actually taking a lot of damage. There you go. Raze is able to kill him off. 
There's a laser to no one in Laser Warnoff. He will try to turn this one around. And HWA is a little bit scared. He doesn't want to fight into it. And he will just go back to base here with the, uh, the newly acquired BOTs. Bottle is dropped. Hookshot in. Underneath the tower. Yeah, he's kind of alone. Yeah, he doesn't have his cogs. So he, he needs to walk out of that. At least now. Submitting his mana pool. <laughs> yeah. Now HWA needs to go back again. He has yet to get his soul ring, so he's his mana spending is not the most effective right now. Yeah. For the um, kind of uh, rush you... into into push travel. Didn't yeah, but you the... can just get a quick uh, soul ring after this, and you're still okay. Yeah. Does he have two? Yeah, he has the two uh, immortals. Yeah. Bottom lane though, it's gonna be an initiation on a Pasha. Pasha in a bit of trouble with the enrage. Can be okay for the time being. He will try to turn his one around, uh, around on Kuhn, maybe, but he still has Yak and he knows it, so he'll just try to back off a little bit, but... Dragon Slave, Lina, man. Lina just doesn't give a shit. That's gonna be Pasha taking it off. There's another kill already going the way of Hey Hey, and, you know, I thought they might just try to deny the creep of Asia to be, uh, be like, yo, man. Yeah, try again. you need to... <laughs> try again. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. This bear is dead right now, and they got a <laughs> double damage rune here on Lina, and he still has Laguna Blade, so... my control. It's gonna be uh, going down as a uh, block. Books on in. A bit no of exchange one. going on. Tinker is here. He's gonna fire some rocket, a laser. That's gonna be the grave. We'll keep him alive. He'll get well a kill on bot on fan score actually here for Lina. Used to, didn't even use the Laguna Blade. He still has it. Yep. And now with the DA, DD, two points. If you saw, they will start pushing down this tower. Well, on the other side, Vega tries to push in as well, but. There's kind of the problem of a Tinker coming in all the time, throwing down marches. Yeah, I think it's creating a bit of space for Pasha, so if you can take Roche, that's gonna be huge. Just applying some pressure to the top to, to get the focus away from bottom, but he needs to be careful though. A lot of players from the side of Ohehe are currently gathered on the bottom. Weapon, weapon! Oh. He's gonna go in again. Gets a little bit of hits off onto Russian. Just keeps yeah, he needs, to keep, he needs to keep applying it. He can't just... One thing is, on. he's really low though. Yeah. He's popping a rage right now, but this is not well timed. No. I was not sure why he keeps running back and forth between Roche. It's just to get off the aggro and you have to walk, walk back and just let your skills uh, come back again. But yeah. He's still able to get it though, but could have been a little bit better. But okay, Mind Control, he is going to give back Mech and this will actually mean that he's still alive. There's going to be the Coon with a nice. Well, egg there, no one wreck him, just hits people, but apart from really applying the debuff, it's not gonna do anything and he will die here. And were they actually able to get rush? Yeah, they were. Okay. Yeah, they were. Now Pasha, he has a rush, he's happy. He did this Ursa thing, but yeah. Now, they lose two people in, uh, in exchange for that. Yeah, 1.2k uh, swing in the favor of uh, United as Ursa does pick up the Roche. But for they sack the uh, the shadow fiend, which is kind of horrible for that. Yeah, you don't want. Well, I, honestly, I think it's better to sack the the shadow fiend than to sack the uh, the Ursa. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, because you know, a shadow fiend, they, he can get back into the game by just farming with his raises. An Ursa, he needs to snowball, or he is essentially useless. Yeah, there's a lot of kiteable. Uh, he's going to be easily kiteable in this game, I think, with, uh, oh, with the laser, know. and you got a Fisher also. Landing through and oh, in the cars. Line. Yeah, exactly. Smoke. It's gonna be uh, Kuhn taking a drop here in the jungle of the uh, of the dire as well. Eh, gonna be smoking up at the bottom lane, trying to fin find a kill of their own Pasha with the Aegis. Gonna be oh! the to send back. He's a dead one. Well, the enrage gonna be sucking up some damage here. It's gonna wear out now, and there we go. They're gonna still gonna find him. Gonna leave him. Yeah, they need to get out. They need oh. to get out. They're gonna go for it though. It's gonna be the static some kinetic field dropped onto Pasha, but he's still on the side and he's just gonna just run away. Oh, hookshot on hook, he is found. Weather result, Cox, he is just stuck there and he will die. Dominate oh, mind street. control. Doing a bit of mind games of his own as he's just chilling around here for the time. He does not have a TP scroll and... Wow. He needs to get out now. He doesn't go, know this, run. of course, but he's gonna run out there. Oh, there we go. Should be okay. Perfect timing. It's almost as if they have wards. They just got dewarded. Yeah. I but guess it, at some point he had to take a chance, you know. He, he, he yeah, had to get out. You 
Still, he just supports, so even if you die on the way back, it's not the worst thing. No one, he's just taking a casual stroll through the enemy jungle. Yeah, and he's 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 kind of exploding in net worth. Yeah, Thanks he is. to the, the stacks and death support. 6.3k, he's just <laughs> using his long range race to get the, uh, the, the, <laughs> the medium the come to him. Yeah. Yeah. They do have a glimpse, and I don't want to use it on him. But I'm kind of surprised though that still have he keeping keeping tabs on Vega. Vega's still a bit ahead, 2k gold in the net worth charts, but they're not that bad off Kuhn. No, he's gonna take another drop. Uh, he's gonna ulti maybe. He's gonna ulti here. No, no send right, but it's not up. Yeah. <laughs> he's not gonna yep. drop the egg. No, I didn't want to use it there. You first have to apply the uh, Firebird debuff, or you will still get the sword anyway with two yeah. healers. Easy 700 gold swing. Yeah, Go that's. He keeps dying, and he just bought his Midas, so it's really unfortunate. There's no cooldown as well, so... Gonna be a link for Ursa? Yeah, it kinda it really sucks, especially if you're a Phoenix offlane. You you kinda wanna get the uh, the levels as fast as possible. Slayer. Gonna TP out. Is he gonna get no Yules no, up? And no point. NSA either. Yeah. And there's no use because he has a 4 staff. Pasha, he has his blink dagger now. He'll try to start blowing up people, but they already have the uh, the force that has mobility as well as a glimpse. So, Manicure. Earthshaker, ooh, Quepe, he's in this. I try to look for something with him now. Who they're gonna find? No one. He's behind the tier one here. They might actually be able to find him if they start moving in. They will. There we go. Top lane. Could it be here. Converging onto the. Uh... No one shadow fiend as he does have blink dagger at the ready, so shouldn't be able to get caught out. They also okay. actually have uh, <laughs> observer ward spotting the whole rotation out. Yeah. Well, QP with the invis might be the joker they need to open up this team fight. Well, or not? <laughs> gonna back off. Does have blink dagger as own, and it's actually a pretty quick one. Only level six though, so his echo still pretty low. Here we go. H Y H W H. And you're gonna be just farming as much as, as much as possible, and he's gonna be having his blink of his own in a roughly 50 gold. So, gonna be looking good for. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm worried again. I'm, I'm still worried. Because they got. Swift. Yeah, they got Shadow Fiend and Ursa. Are you just wondering? It's just a tinker enough. Yeah, exactly. Because that's essentially the only real less late game that they have. Right? Once BKB starts coming in, Dina will fall off since she doesn't have uh, an Aghanims. Deserptor will fall off, Earthshaker will fall off, even Tinker will fall off. Tremendously. Yes. But that said, I want to see an Aghanims on, the, on HWA. You really want to? Yeah, why not? See some laser zapping. It would be cool, but I don't... Oh, it, it will. It might even lose, lose him the game, to be quite honest. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is this for... Oh, Ben score, he's found out and... Uh, He's gonna die. Oh, they do, he does steal Fisher though, but yeah, there we go. Ace and we are picking it up. Oh wow, that was a close send, send back. Ooh. Well, mid lane. Hook as well as Kuhn. He pinned from Tinker, but looking for another kill here as. Aggressive yeah. Inkers dive in, but uh, yeah, they're just gonna back off a little bit here. They don't have a creep wave to uh, tank the. Uh, well, the tower, <laughs> essentially. Oh, Hook shot in. in. They find Mind Control there, he's just getting him glimpse back here. But, but Mind Control, he will still die to the edge of the Wreck Room of Souls there. Uh, yeah. One for one. Other I statement. guess. It was a weird fight though, because they used Egg on... A def it was a defensive Egg, but it was kind of counting on the Clockwork, staying in the cogs, not getting glimpsed back. And he glimpsed back the Clockwork, so the Egg was kind of useless and... Yeah, there was a lot of things in that fight that were messy, but yeah. it's a one for one, as you said. Top lane, Tinker. Gotta be careful, though. <laughs> Mech is just being annoying. He almost yeah, kills he... us a Tinker with wow, the... Wow, that's <laughs> a really though. good pickup. Oh, they would have gotten him had that raise connected, but... Just that is just... <laughs> that's just nasty. Yeah. There we go, they're gonna converge here on bottom lane. Are they able to find anybody? Vescor's in this, so he actually sees all of them, but Barsha, he's getting sent back here into a nice fissure here. He's popping Enrage, but he's just getting uh, controlled here so far. He's not able to get anything off. Force left is gonna be used on Hook. And there you go, Laguna Blaze after the Enrage is gonna kill him. Blink forward, 
of HWA fan score. He's low, 60 HP left. And there you go, Fisher kills him off. And there you go, the Grim's back off the body. Yeah. They Strike him tough. back, it seems like the Omega... Their game plan has kind of gone a bit out the window, uh, you know, with the pick. He's... He can't really find his role in this game, I feel like. He's actually under the Tinker right now in terms of net worth. And Shadowfin is the is the biggest flash farm in the game right now, so no, no wonder he's ahead, but... It kind of just fell off. They took Roche, and then, you know... Yeah, Ursa is not really able to converge into objectives, like... There are not that many... Well, actually, there's... Apart from... No. Actually, you can't really kill anybody if they're fast enough on the fingers, like... You can get sent back... They, or they can be just glimpsed out, Incubus dive out, so... Yes. It's not easy for him to latch onto a target and just blow him up. Oh. Be the weave, hook shot. Yes, he's gonna hit him. He's gonna be stuck here in the cocks and get blown up by Mac. Oh, Tinker into Clockwork, it's always a scary prospect. There's Rubik again. I'm not sure what Vance is doing out here in the. Uh, it's gonna be. Okay, it's gonna be a great with the curse dive still, but still a bit far out. A bit aggressive. Yeah. So far, he's fine. It's going back a little bit more right now, but I think the longer this goes, it will be more in Vega's favor. Yeah, they the just moment keep, they just also keep the game going. Mm. So far, even Mac is just doing fine here with 6.1k. He's farming up quite nicely. Only Enough thing that he has. Oh, that's unfortunate. He does have his enrage off, but there we go. That's gonna be it for Dula Blade, and that's probably a dead Asha. Oh, yeah. There we go. Glimpse Mac as well. But yeah, that doesn't really help him too much. Also, though, he just really waits perfectly with the... Uh, with yeah, the with the Guna Blade and, yeah. and everything else, yeah. Oh, really there well we timed. Go. Bit of a uh, bit of counter war going on as... Yeah. Looking strong, looking strong. Shadowfin has yet to really join the fights. He's just been farming a bit here. He has a BKB b b b b b as well as his uh, Blink at the ready. We have yet to see a... Uh, a mechanism coming out for either of these teams. Uh, well, I don't think anybody will pick it up. No, probably not. I think it would have been a good Shadowfiend game for a mech. Yeah, um, with all the burst damage just slipped through it. Exactly. Uh, especially, you know, you could bait out a lot of spells. Mid lane, though, it's gonna be Slayer. So you can drop your Shallow Grave, now you're gonna use gonna be Silence of Vega. With a good Requiem, no one gonna disengage. Well, QP. Gonna He's gonna get glimpsed too. back. And Mech is going to go in into the back lines here. He gets a pick off onto the Disruptor here. The Egg is used. It's going to kill off Fenskor here with the Dragon Slave. No one is still walking. He's going to get stunned up by this. LSA is off cooldown as well as the... Uh, well, no mana actually there. But he, they do get a kill here. The Coon, he is low. He's going to get slapped down here by Parsha. Four for three so far. HBA. He is... Well, 27 HP. He has to get the hell out. And well, it seems like it's going to be a Bloodstone game for the side of... United on the side of Tinker, of course, and well, we're pinging it out, going for Roche. He's gonna be marching up as much as he can. Needs to be careful though, Mag. He's got Hook in 15 seconds, so that is always a possibility. And does he have a Blade Mail out there already? Yeah, he does now, finally. And oh, think this could be disastrous for the side of Vega. Maybe a Sun from QP. Oh, actually, the Fissure's a little bit of a mark. Very aggressive blink forward from HBI. He needs to get out right now. But yeah, they won't let him. They're gonna hook shot into him. They're gonna keep him there, and HBA is not really able to find this, and he gets another best. The bases are just against Hey Hey today, and he gets killed off. Pepe now is fighting up versus Mac. He dies as well, and there on the back line, another kill going the way of Pasha here. As they also kill off Mind Control. Now, Hook is still there, but what will he be able to do? Yeah. A little bit of a Sun Ray going in. No. Oh, oh, whoa, kills? whoa. Okay, they get, they get a double kill. They do lose yeah. Rush. But still, favorable yeah. for Vega. Two for three to eight plus rush. And now none of it. Yeah. The, 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 oh no, oh, it's gonna no. be disastrous. Dumb okay, four for two. For Pasha as four heroes go down for Vega. Oh, sorry, the side of uh, yeah, the favor of Vega. Lena uh, now? What? what? 28. No. What? <laughs> no problem, what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't Back talk, I guess? <laughs> I, I think it's smacked all. It might have just been from the previous match or something to play versus each other. Uh, I honestly don't know. No. But okay, it's not the rush timer. That's the only thing I know for sure.
Do you agree with the Bloodstone people by Tinker? Well, if, if you want to go late game, it's the item to pick up there. QP. Stun up on no one and... He might just... Even with the BKB, I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, that's just going to be his nice second BKB there, but they will be able to get at least HWA back for this. Because, you know, the battery is still too strong. Now Mac, oh he gets a Guna Blade into the face, but he still has 400 HP, bowling up while running away. Dragon Slave is gonna miss, and he's just walking towards the tier 1 and... Hey, hey, no, they have to back up. Yes. Kinda of surprised not to see a... Uh, a Yule Scepter coming up for Lina. The Force Staff was the first pickup she actually went for. Um, oh, Aghanim. Yeah, an Aghanim and... Uh, uh, oh, Mac. Top lane. Yeah. He, he's, he's gonna got get Force Staff ready. He's got Force Staff. He's just waiting for the cocks and Mac is just waiting for the yeah. <laughs> for the four step and he's just doing a little bit of a ring around Rose here. And LSA is off the mark, he gets another little bit of a push back there. They do have teams right No, they don't. They're missing mana for that web bay and Gen Totem. Mac, he's stuck here. Sima, he has to start running away if he doesn't want to die here. He's gonna use the chain mill here. Hookshot onto Mike He's gonna get a kill off onto him while ACBA starts to TP in here. On the back line, Sima, oh, he's still alive, but yeah. HWA, he gets the kill here. They're gonna go after Sima here as well. They get two kills for just their poor old disruptor. And now Pasha comes in. He gets the kill onto HWA. Yes, BKB popped. Quepi was into it, but he just blinks out. Could be okay. We have four stuff. Yes, he's gonna get initiated on Hook. Man. But that was a little bit aggressive, and Rage is on, and Hook, he will just take the spill here. Well, no one pops his BKB again a little bit late. A little bit. Yeah, wasted, I want to say. Yeah, it, it, it was, but it just feels like the game of overextension. Who can, you know, who dives the most? Here on the bottom, it was at the Roche Pit for the side of Hehe. They gave away the Tinker and a few other kills. And here on the top lane, it was the Mag plus Dazzle, uh, or the Cogra plus Dazzle. Yeah, and then again, hey, just follow this. You know, they just keep player. running. Instead of just saying, okay, we're, we're fine with the two kills, they just keep going and... Pasha versus Quepe, well, uh, I think Pasha is winning this one. There we go. Wow, okay, top lane, a bit of exchange that was going. Odd. He just TP'd in and right next to Pasha, and I don't know what he thought he was going to do, but I don't it's think dying was there. It's a good uh, it's a good Fisher opportunity, bottom lane. Oh, hookshot into AWA. Glint is going to be used on Meg here, but so as you may say, already taking a lot of damage here. They have to walk around this box and, well, no one. <laughs> he's gonna take the spill. Yeah. Now Mac, he tries to look for something to go back in, but Pasha already does. He finds another disruptor kill here. Now another. Uh, from Kuhn. He goes in, but he has to look out a little bit there and rage used. Not taking any damage, pretty much. Timo is also walking into the fray right now, and they're just all trying to back off a little bit more. Hook shot to reinitiate. Nope. At least now the bear is really showing his strength. He's top of the net worth. Yeah. Pasha getting back into the game. Um, finds his blink dagger, finds his uh, his BKB, and with that rush kill, they don't want to use too much on him, it seems, and he kind of gets the roam free in the team fights or the, the skirmishes that they're having right now, so that's definitely working in the favor of Vega. Um, and I think Lina, oh no, as we say that. And Scott yeah. And well, Pasha tries to re initiate in here. So far, he's able to do quite effectively with already a kill on HWA. Mag is uh, soloing out the Phoenix here, and he also dies off 2 for 2. 1 for 2. Yeah, Pepe found. Two. He's gonna get some nice hits onto him. He wants to blink out, but nope. Still 1.5 seconds left before he was able to do so. Yeah, and when Ursa's getting out of control, she, beyond Gaul, like of course, has been, has been getting out of control for the last few minutes, but... Yeah, this is like the snowballing that we talked about. Yes. If you start snowballing, it's really just tough to stop in. And they did really well in the beginning to not let him snowball, but now it's kind of out of control and looking really, really... And as you say player. that, he just kills off my control. I just need to follow him. Yeah, Stop looking at towers. Ursa. He's, yeah. he's, he's on kills. point. And they're, they're gonna just push in two lanes at the same time, okay. Yeah, they don't have buyback. They have buyback on Tinker, but I... Yeah, they have buybacks, but they don't want to yeah, use it. Exactly. Yeah, they want to use it for the second round. 20 minutes into the game and Ursa is already a monster. Here we go. Yeah. 28 minutes in maybe the last fight here, but there's gonna be the Echo Slam on no one and everybody actually. There's a lot of damage, 4 stuff out from no one selling the Reckoning Soul on the back lines. 
He's gonna get it off though, and Pesha is still here fighting it up. He has no more in race. Supposed to be the bit to run out of this mech. Gets Glim back into it. The egg is put down, just zoning him out. There we go. Another kill going away. Two already dead here. No one is just hiding here in the bushes. And Shima, he's not finding anybody. Well, actually, not. No one is finding Shima here, so he's just fine. Did they have to spend any buybacks for that? Yes, they did. Oh no. Hook. No, Might four steps just, just a little bit short. HW in to the cliff and he gets Pasha here. That's a bigger kill. And another set of uh, just one rocket. It will just leave it. Yeah. Maybe I guess back. Let's see what he goes for now, Tinker. Oh, my control. Stuff. He's gonna get found. He's Yen? just gonna get the free Are you kidding games. me? Yeah. <laughs> Calm the dick down, okay? You're. <laughs> they just seem to be the supports at least. Drop what? your Earthshaker. The so far disrupted died eight times. Earthshaker only five though. Goon died more. Yeah. Oh, Maybe no, no one. one. He has to pop his BKB right now. Reckon Soul is being channeled. The Goon, he's being put up into the air and he's gonna take a fall here to the close range a... race. And uh, well, there is still Quepe though. He's manning up with an Earthshaker, but yeah, that's not something you can do for just three people. He's doing. Yeah, he just tries to run around the, uh, the trees there, but it doesn't work. Keep going in one by one. I don't. Really get that, yeah. No, I don't really get it. It's 12k in the favor of Vega. Is gonna be pushing their advantage and Roche. Gonna be up in a few. Bit of a pause coming out as a score. Probably gonna take a disconnect yet again. I'm not lagging. You're lagging? Nope. No, nope. That's the answer to him. He didn't say he was asking to, so. Always answer. Nope. <sighs> And we're gonna go back in again. Fanscore, he uh, he will apparently just play with his legs. Yeah, I mean they're pretty far ahead. So, and he, I mean he's playing dazzle. Sorry, he's playing uh, Rubik. the Rubik. So he wants to be on point with the steals. But uh, then again, essentially if they even lose two fives, they're still fine. Yeah. After they lost the third five, that's uh, the, and the problem is my start to rise. Oh, Glimpse back onto Mech, but there's a four step, so there's a static storm and kinetic glitch. Not wasted. Here we go, Tinker. 2.7k in the bank. Might just go for a Dagon? Maybe even just the Ghost Scepter. Bottom lane. Oh, it's lift up. Hook. There's gonna be the, uh, the side recently purchased by Pasha here. Boon, he goes in fairly aggressively. He does have the egg though. And there's gonna be the BKB used by Pasha, but he's just getting juked around and yeah, he's gonna kill off the egg quite fast here. Oh, he needs a couple more hits. Are they actually able to get this? Yeah, they're actually gonna get the egg off here. Fast score is really low as well. Sima as well on the back lines is gonna be able to get off a uh, Shadow Grave. He is. Pasha still trying to fight up versus as many people as there are, but it won't work. Still, they kill off the Disruptor and everybody else on the side of Vega is pretty much just as low as they get. Well, no one. He's just fighting up a Requiem of Souls. He is. He gets a lot of damage from this. But so far, no one is kind of stuck here. He's kind of alone. Sun ran on top of him, but there's the Dazzle. And they're gonna get a kill onto the Coon here. He's still fairly low. And there you go. The Rocks are enough to kill him off, as well as a Lazy here to kill off Dazzle. That's it? That's it, yeah. That was the fight. <laughs> that was the fight. A 4 cage uh, swing. Going the way of Hehe. <laughs> That's. Yeah, that's what they need. That's good. That's what they need. They lose the melee racks in the mid lane. A little bit so of damage in the range, but yeah, a bit, a, a bit of things going the way of Vega. But uh, that team fight bottom, if you want to call it that, picking up the Ursa and the egg was on. I, I think he was like, he was a panic egg, and then Ursa was like, I got you, bro. I got you. Um, and everybody just uh, just just jumped in to kill the Ursa, and it worked out. Even though they whiffed, I think the Laguna Blade on the Enrage. But, you know, they killed him off, which was so crucial. And then, you know, after the Ursa dies, it seemed like Vega didn't really have any... Shadowfiend got kited a bit here in the mid. Um, he wasted to BKB on bottom lane, and they just won the fight. Good job from from uh, striking back. Still a bit far behind, though, I want to say, 10k. Uh, it's so still, they, they, it's still on, because extra fights, and look at this. Bad Control is just farming away with his static Storm here. Actually, yeah. Realizing that they don't want to fight, so he might as well use it. It's the GG branch build. 
<laughs> he's oh, actually. I want to say. I want to give a shout out to con, to Mind Control for having 1.6k, uh, 1.6k net worth currently in a 33 minute game. That's actually, yeah. You don't see that. Often. He's got tranquils. And some, uh, some, some, some wards and a lot of GG branches. With that being said. Hey guys, gonna go and try and end this one right now. They have Pasha, they have his, uh, his Aegis, his BKB, as well as a side. They're just gonna look for, for a pickoff or not even a pickoff. Hookshot is gonna hit on him! Side is there as well and he's blown up. <laughs> and there's a pass! <laughs> Lag. <laughs> Getting worse <Of> again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wow. And this is already dead, so. <laughs> yeah, does he have a buyback? Nope. No. <laughs> I was gonna say with 1.2k 1. now, of course, in net worth, he's. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The sad disruptor. Yeah, man, this. If you're the, if you're the disruptor this game, you were just like, fuck this match. Sell the boots, get, a more, get, get some more stats going. Yeah, but. Yeah, the question is, will G he even tap out? I think, will he just fly to the bitter end? Because, you know, if they lose, they're kind of out of the tournament. And with kind of, I, of course, mean they're out. So. Yeah. There has to be some big plays There's coming one. out for, for Tinker if they want to win this. Yeah. Going for Hex, it seems like. Okay, also good pick up there. No Need day. some more control, I guess. Yeah, just uh, For the team fights. Doesn't want to go for the, uh, for the day gun just yet. Just having the uh, lockdown at all the time, but well, you know, Vegas taking their base, everything, you know, we want to get a tier 1 tower. If I get a tier 1 tower, well, the tier 3 is almost also done here. Mac. No one blinked in. Yeah, there's going to be the egg uses, but yeah, he will just walk away. Egg baited, it's fine. Blink forward from HWA, yeah, he uses the side of the Pasha, and now they're all backing up. Oh no, Quepe goes in there. Pasha is still locked down here. He gets uh, side up again. He's still the piggy. There's going to be the. Uh, well, another piggy on him. Although he's Shadow Graved. And he will take a spill here. Although it's just the Aegis. There's going to be the hook shot in onto Quepe. He is found here as well. But he's taking a lot of damage. He might actually die before he gets off the kill onto the Earthshaker. But the Earthshaker, he will get. Well, turns into piggy now. And no one picks up the kill. Double kill for him. Buyback's used on Mac. Okay, he just TP'd to the mid tower here. Another side used. It's going to be the melee racks down. Limbs back onto Pasha, but he just has his BKB and he doesn't really care and just starts hitting away on the Rex again. Well, the Kun is found by Maggie with another hook shot. At the same time, HWI, he is caught out here. He needs to start blinking away on time, but he's not able to do it and he will take a fall here as well. He will be back in 8 seconds though, but the Kun, he won't be so lucky. He is dead. He does have a buyback. They're gonna go after Microton now. He's getting slowed up with the Skadi here. He's also dead. Are they gonna use buybacks here? Well, they don't have to because it should be here already is back in here and well do do the bloodstone But he's gonna take a spill here again He's fighting up versus Mackie, but he's just stuck in this and this is not gonna be enough another double kill going away I've seen the Slayer here right now the supports picking up some kills as well No one he's just going into the fountain. They want to have to go and GG is called by the hook here And buyback from Asia. Yeah, he's gonna give his life away or he's just gonna try and get some kills here Well, it's it doesn't matter because he's it dead. It doesn't matter. No, no. And we have a desolator, ladies and gentlemen, on the desolator. I want to say game 1 was a bit more interesting. Yeah. But it was a fun game too, to see the Tinker being played as a uh, as a safe lane core. We've seen it before, with some success. But in the end, the Ursa was just a bit too much to handle for the side of uh, of Heha United. So, yes. Um... So you want to run sponsors and shit like that now, I guess? Oh yeah, man. I, I gotta do all that, all those good old things now. But first I'm gonna say, GG Vega, you're true into the next round. You will be facing up versus uh, My Insanity in the loser bracket semi-final. It's also BO3. I don't know when we'll play it. We'll play it soon, I hope. We will. I'm gonna think so. And yeah. <laughs> with me was uh, the Maker. You can follow him uh, at Maker something ish on Twitter. Maker with a three at the end instead of an E on Twitter. Yeah, and of course on... Oh, that's all? Is yeah, that... that's all. That's okay. all. Uh, oh, yeah, e it Maker was... and then three at the... Yeah, before the R. Makes sense. Okay, yeah. and... Yeah. Apart from that, we still have our sponsors to say, of course. We have eBattle, we have Intel, we have Republic of Gamers, we have Kingston HyperX. Also, shout out to Dota HQ. And... That was it. I'm Sander, I was, I'm your caster from uh, Swiss DC. That was Maker.
and I'm gonna try some commercials and you guys will just be nice and watch it. <laughs>